Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this Olympiad mathematics. x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 equal to 8 to the power of negative 1. x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 equal to 1 over 8. According to one of the laws of um, indices. Now the next thing is to clear the fraction here by multiplying everything by 8. So we have 8 x to the power of 3 plus 8 x to the power of 2 equal to 1 over 8 times 8, right? Now, in this way, this will cancel this from here. So, 8x to the power of 3 plus 8x to the power of 2 will be equal to 1. And now, from here, remember that 8 is 2 to the power of 3. Then, multiply by x to the power of 3. Then, 8 here can be broken into... 2 multiplied by 2 squared times x squared, right? Okay. And then this is equal to 1. Now what I'm doing is making sure that they have the same powers, okay? Now from here, I can put these two together, you know, and I'll have it to the power of 3 because they're having the same power. Then plus... Here we have 2 on the outside, then put these two together, we have 2x, and then to the power of 2, still according to one of the laws of indices, and this is equal to 1. And then from here, you can see that we have 2x in two places, right? And that means that we can replace it with a letter. Let y be equal to 2x. Okay, so this means that we'll be having y to the power of 3 plus 2y to the power of 2 to be equal to 1. Bring this to the left. So we have y to the power of 3 plus 2y to the power of 2 minus 1 equal to 0. Now, let's look for a way to factorize this. Let's look for a way to factorize this. And because we're having three terms here, it becomes pretty difficult to factorize. So I have to expand this. As I have y to the power of 3, plus here, this is y to the power of 2. Um, okay then plus y to the power of 2. You know, this will give me this back, right? Then minus y equal to 0. And in this way, it will be easy for me to group into 2 and factorize. Now, if I factorize this, I will have y to the power of 2 as the common factor. Then here we have y plus 1 then plus in this case we can apply difference of two squares because this is the same thing as y to the power of 2 minus 1 to the power of 2 being equal to 0 so now our y to the power of 2 into y plus 1 right then plus difference of two squares here will be y to the power of, okay there's no more power because we're using difference of two squares so we have y plus one and then y minus one this will be giving us zero now by looking at this you will see that we have common factors y plus one is common so bring it out y plus one is a common factor then in the other bracket 
this will appear y squared then plus this has already come out this will be there which will be y minus 1 this is equal to 0 so that from here we apply 0 product rule okay we apply 0 product rule meaning that it is either y plus 1 is equal to 0 or this quadratic expression here is equal to 0 and if this is equal to 0 that means that y is equal to minus 1 and remember what we said when we say that y is equal to 2x so I can write 2x here to be equal to minus 1 and from here we make x the subject as we divide both sides by 2 so x is equal to minus 1 over 2 so this is the first value of x to get the second value of x I will pick this quadratic expression and equate it to 0 okay so this is the quadratic expression there equated to 0 as it becomes a quadratic equation now to solve this let's use the formula method right so y will be equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a so y now will be equal to b is 1 so we have minus 1 plus or minus then we have b squared which is going to be um, equal to which will give us 1 squared minus 4 times a is 1 and then c is minus 1 right and all of this will be over 2 times 1 so y from here will be minus 1 plus or minus 1 plus 4 because 1 squared is 1 then minus 4 times 1 times minus 4 is plus 4 this will be over 2 so that if we continue then y will be equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2 this is what we have and then remember that y still stands for 2x so 2x will be equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2 right and I can divide both sides by 2 from here divide this by 2 over 1 so that this will go with this and our x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2 multiplied by 1 over 2 sorry I wrote it out of sight so this is what we have let me finish it here so meaning that x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2 times 2 will give 4 right so this is what we have and it's a 2 in 1 solution remember this is one of the values of x 2 in 1 and the other that we got is minus 1 over 2 so these are the solutions to the equation thank you for watching